Hi, Rob here, and time for another review. Hobo is a beat-em-up style game available on armorgames.com. Unsurprisingly, in Hobo, you play, well, a hobo who beats up innocent people. The intro explains the story. The police force him to cut off his home with a rug stump, and this forces him to go on a killing spree. Lovely. The controls. Arrow keys to move around. With A, you can kick and pick up certain items, and you punch with S. Throughout the game, you will unlock combos, which include farting, diarrhea, burping, puking, spitting, and throwing yellow stuff from your nose. These combos allow you to kill people more effectively. But, you could say it's quite surreal, as I don't think it's proven that pooing on someone will eventually kill them. Uh, unless our hobo has lethal, fast-spreading, malicious form of cholera from eating from a sewer. Some NPCs in the game will automatically attack you when they see you. These tend to be men in gangs. Others are just standing there, minding their own business, having a coffee, smoking pot in the park, talking about their mundane lives in their mundane corporation, doing mundane work for the man, until one day, after being an old miser, learn the true meaning of Christmas from ghosts and buy a turkey for Tiny Tim. Oh wait, that's the plot of the Christmas Carol. Did I mention how you get to beat these poor sods up, having no consequences or court sentences? The game has a nice cartoony aesthetic, so I'd say it adds to the comedic nature of Hobo. There is a variety in the characters you get to obliterate, it isn't just the same copy-pasted sprite which you see over and over again in most beat-em-ups. Hobo is definitely violent and vulgar enough for my tastes. I mean, I've played Dead Rising 2 and that game is literally bloody awesome. There are only about two music tracks in Hobo, a confrontational one in fights with gangs, and for most of the time a nice jazzy overture, which is a contrast in nature of your unstoppable killing spree. The thing is, the game's fighting style and combos don't matter that much. Most of the time, I was just slamming my A and S keys in a random order. By the time you get all the power-ups, you're bound to randomly hit some with constant key pressing. At times, I couldn't quite attack enemies, not being in the right place on the screen. It was rather difficult to manoeuvre about. The sprint feature. While useful, in my experience, I found it annoying to double tap arrow keys to use it. I missed drop kicking enemies several times. Hobo is a fun game, although it is repetitive and short. The music does drive you nuts after a while, and it will be stuck in your head for a long time. I feel they could have done something more to improve it, but I do understand there are sequels to Hobo, so I'd rate this game a 6 out of 10 overall. It's not that bad, it's just some of the features I didn't really like. If you'd like me to review any more games in this Hobo series, feel free to drop a comment down below. That's all from me, so see you next time for another informational review video.